everything that he needs to know to go into middle school. And his uh, administrators at his school had said, if you haven't, if you haven't had the talk, you need to have the talk with your son, you know, about life and all of those things. And I thought, man, I just don't want to do it the way everybody else has done it. I wanted to do something personal between us. And uh, so I began to ask God, and it took about six months for God to unveil his plan. Uh, but that plan was uh, that I, I began to develop a booklet uh, that I had bound for Tyler. And it had pictures, and it had stories, and it had um, his family in there. It talked about issues of character and integrity. It talked about uh, what you want to do in life, what you want to be, um, what you want to be like. Um, it talked about when you meet that woman someday and what things you want to look for in her. We talked about big things and little things, and it was just an incredible uh, opportunity for us to really visit as father and son. And uh, I just kept telling him the whole time, Tyler, write down some questions that you've always wanted to ask, and he would say, well, where are we going, Dad? And I would say, I don't know. <laughs> and he would say, what? I don't know, son. I'm, I'm telling you the truth, I said. I would not lie. And so the day finally came, he was all uh, filled with anxiety about what we're going to do and, and what this is going to look like. And so we, we go and uh, get in the car, and I hand him this booklet uh, with all of that stuff in it and a road map. And I said, okay, son, you've been asking all this time, where are we going to go? And I've been answering, I don't know. And I said, the reason that I've answered that is because I really didn't know. You're the one who's going to pick the path. You're the one who's going to decide where we go, because that's what life is like. We don't know what's around the bend, and, and sometimes you just have to make some choices uh, about whether you're going to go right or whether you're going to let go left, and sometimes when you choose this way, it's going to be a great way, and sometimes when you choose this way, it's not going to be so good, so we may hit some dead ends, we may hit some difficult, rough spots, but whatever we hit, we're going to hit it together, and uh, Jesus is with us. And, um, and so on that trip, um, my, my wonderful son said, I want to go to Vegas. <laughs> so I'm telling for my son. <laughs> because he had heard about this hotel that has this great big theme park in it. He knew nothing else. So I just said, uh, we, we started driving, we went on, and so we, we got there, and I just remember, I'll, I'll just have to tell you, we pulled in, and it was 2 a.m. in the morning, and Vegas was lit up like a big old candle in the desert, and uh, I just remember Tyler looking at me going at, at, with all the billboards and everything, and he just said, Dad, I didn't know. I swear to you, I didn't know. Those are the words that I remember coming out of his mouth, first thing. And, um, and I said, I turned to him and I said, you know, son, I knew that. That's what I loved, is that I knew that his heart was, was about going to this hotel with a theme park, you know? And, and it was innocent, and it was beautiful. And so, um, I love you, Tyler, and I, I enjoyed that trip more than anything. And this song that I'm about to share with you is uh, about him. And it's about some of that journey and about some of the journey that is still ahead of us as father and son.
Yeah. 